welcome back to my channel now we have a video on why you should have multiple views for coronary angiogram that is suppose you have a coronary artery like this if you see in this view you can see the full extent without any foreshortening suppose i turn it this way around it's a foreshortened view this is an orthogonal view in which the artery is foreshortened so you will not be able to see the lesions or the branching properly that's why we need orthogonal views orthogonal views are views which are perpendicular to each other this is one view and this is another view you can see the obvious difference why you need multiple projections to see the arteries in full extent the branching pattern uh, which are the diagonals which are the septals for LAD or left anterior descending coronary artery and also for the lesions you need multiple views another reason why we need um, multiple views is for assessment of eccentric lesions suppose there are two lesions as shown here one is eccentric lesion the other one is concentric lesion and I have shown imaging in two planes I'll explain further this is an eccentric lesion in a coronary artery suppose you image in this plane x-ray beams passing from here to the x-ray source is here and the image intensifier is here if this is passing this way this may not be imaged at all because it is passing through a region where there is no lesion on the other hand if you image in a perpendicular or orthogonal plane you know that uh, the lesion will be well delineated that's one simple thing and look at this lesion this is a concentric lesion in a concentric lesion whether you made in this plane or this plane there may not be much difference it will be almost similar but the concentric lesions are quite rare most of the lesions are eccentric then for concentric lesion there is a trap suppose there is diffuse disease throughout the length of the coronary artery you may not see anything as a lesion you know, usually we compare the normal segment with the abnormal segment to say that there is a lesion suppose the whole length of the coronary artery is uh, diseased with a concentric lesion then you might miss the lesion also uh, that is the disadvantage of taking a coronary angiogram which is known as luminogram you are assessing only the lumen the only the lumen is filled with contrast dye 